Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender episode number 7 and 8. Alright, the previous episode we met our new earthbending teacher and she is a little girl named Toph. And <laughs> she, like her first impression, like I can understand she is a total savage. <laughs> and yeah, like, you know, like she really doesn't even, what can I say? Like She's very blunt. And at the same time, kind of, you know, like, uh, what can I say, expressive in a way and uh, doesn't care what other people think, she, whatever she feels, she's, you know, she kind of says that kind of like that very direct and yeah, that's like, that's great. And she's like, you know, like, um, and there's like, uh, she has been blind from birth and I'm guessing that is the reason why she is such a great airbender um uh, sorry not airbender earthbender because she makes like you know she uh, listens to the surroundings as Bumi said like you know you need to talk and listen and uh, she has been doing this from birth and she like you know always relies on earthbending to actually see in front of her in a way so that in itself i'm guessing honed her earthbending schools uh, skills to such an extent that she is a master now so obviously her, her dad did not know that and her dad is pretty overprotective I don't blame him because obviously you know it's their only child and but she he I think he's like kind of taking this a bit too far by actually hiring uh, you know people to get her back by force and uh, I don't know like you know like like as i said i can kind of understand where he's coming from because you know she's her own his only daughter and he thinks at least that his daughter is not um you know what do you call it? because her daughter his daughter is blind he thinks that she won't be able to handle herself so like she, he's like you know he's like kind of being a lot more overprotective of her so yeah, and that's like another problem, like we have people behind us now, now people are going to like, you know, try to catch Toph and, you know, like that'll be a big source of a problem. And I'm kind of thinking about the thing that maybe they'll actually uh, go and shake hands with the, with Azula, you know, like uh, the people who have been hired. And that's one thing I'm thinking and it might happen. I don't know. So that'll be a bigger problem then. And obviously like the whole thing with Zuko is another thing where like, you know, he's being uh chased by his own family so yeah a lot of things are happening at the same time but let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started this is episode number seven of after the last airbender so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I should take this off. Yes. Ah. Oh. Okay, this recap is going up for quite a while. Zuko alone. Oh yeah, Zuko went on his own way. I forgot about that completely. Yeah, here he is. Oh my god, he's like... I'm guessing... Has not gotten to eat stuff. That's a flimsy bridge. I think it'll... Yeah, run, boy. 
Oh my god. Oh, is that food? Oh! Oh no, he is resorting to. Oh no. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, now that's good. Like, you know, that's honorable. And there's no water as well. Boy. Oh no. Yeah. Wait, is that her, his mom? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, we're at a village. Oh, are they gambling? I think so. Whoa, what the? The, the animal that he's riding on is also quite tired, I can see. Don't you dare miss. Are there a cold meal? What? No. Okay. Oh my god. Whoa! No, that egg, egg could have been a good meal. What the hell? Oh god, here we go. <laughs> what? Nice joke. Oh, great. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put on the mask and... Oh. And let's go do our vigilante work. He himself needs food. Oh boy. No. Whoa. Wait, what is that? Is that a pig or a sheep? What the hell? What type of animals are these? It's a pig chicken. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh. These guys are basically thugs. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. He didn't want like, you know, people actually giving him stuff. He wanted to earn, earn it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, what what are with the animals here? That's like a tortoise duck. Yeah, that is his his mom. Whoa! <laughs> 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 
There's a turtle ducks. <laughs> well, because you did it before. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what the? Oh, these are the friends that. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> um what what is whoa oh oh azulez <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's him. Oh, when he, yeah. <laughs> when he was. Oh. Wow. Oh, this is the dagger he uses. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, so that wait, so I was supposed to be the fire lord. The whole fire, the, the war wouldn't have happened if Iro, like, you know, was able to actually prevail in that situation. The 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 siege, you know, that everyone says that he failed. That means if he won there, then this, he would have been the fire lord, and nothing. Like this would have started. What the what's oh did did she steal the dagger? Hmm. Ah! Oh wait, who is this? Oh, this is the present timeline. I, I got confused a little bit. Wow. <laughs> okay, don't hurt yourself. And so. It's like high you know, mixture of a few animals. Oh no, is this? Yeah, it's those people, aren't they? <sighs> Boy. Cow. Oh no! What? Yeah. Like enough is enough. Because they're better than you, like, at least.
God, like these people. Oh. God. What? Oh boy. Hmm. God. God, the... Azulon. Oh, this is the previous file lord, okay. Oh, yeah. Damn, Azula is... Ah. <laughs> well... Wow. <laughs> Boy. Okay. Whoa. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah, her control of the f fire is... <sighs> oh, what the... What's with the dad? He... I feel like he really doesn't like Zuko. Like, even in the previous flashbacks, like... Ah, uh, God. Like... <sighs> what? The These people in the Fire Nation, what is wrong with them? Wow, so this is what happened. Okay, he's not happy with that. Oh. Okay. This went in a way I did not expect it to. What? What? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay, don't use a fire bending. I if he uses it, it'll be a big trouble. Hopefully, he's able to handle them without using fire bending. Let's see. Surely he'll be able to. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you do it, anything? Like, this guy always asks others. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he's running away. Great. This guy don't even, don't even know how to fight. Wow. <laughs> this is the army. This protecting the people, you know, protecting. Okay, the big guy is here. Let's see. Yeah. Without using fire bending, it's a little bit of a trouble, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, this guy's a. <laughs> Basically trying to kill him, no, telling him to kill him. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit of a trouble. Uh... God, I think he will have to use firebending. Otherwise, there's... Oh no. Wait, what happened to her mom? Uh, to his mom? There you go. But yeah, this will be more trouble in the future because. Yeah, oh boy. God. Yeah, that as well. Ah, oh, boy. Well, oh, everyone knows about that. I hope the yeah oh god as i was saying Ugh. god oh wow Conveniently.
one thing they never show the fire lord's face you know i've, I've noticed that maybe we're going to see it later on As as your wish, yeah, great. And this is where everything goes wrong. God. <sighs> okay <sighs> well this episode uh we got a lot we got a lot of information regarding zuko and his past now uh, one thing obviously we still don't know is what happened to the mom we still don't know like this can go in a few ways mm, either the mom is I don't know. Mm. What can I say? Like either something happened to her or she left or ran away. Like these are the either two ways this can go. Like either she's alive or she's not alive anymore. Um I think there is a chance of her being alive. Hopefully she is. And you know, at that moment when she talked with Zuko, she said something like always remember like you know like everything i've done is I've, I've done to protect you always remember like you know who you are and then she like you know looks at him and goes away i'm guessing you know there is a big chance of her at that moment for her to actually like you know she came to see her son for the last time before running away or something this can either go in that way or i don't know she is not alive anymore something must have happened so but I'm, I'm as i said like you know i'm going to uh what can i say i'm going to put my bets on her being alive and her actually running away from here maybe maybe in the future uh zuko will meet him on his you know journey or somewhere or if like you know like either that or if like, he is not alive then what else to say you know so this information uh, in this episode obviously we did not get any information regarding her hopefully in the future we're either going to get some information or something so yeah that's one thing another thing is we actually get to know the circumstances that was uh, that happened uh, like we have always been hearing about the siege you know that i wrote to party uh, and how he lost you know or gave up now we know what actually happened here from this episode you know like because his son lost his life he became heartbroken and like you know came back and uh, gave up and by like you know uh, uh, like along with that he also lost his right to the throne because you know uh ozai became the fire lord and uh, one thing i was really not expecting is that the previous fire lord that is the grandfather him actually supporting um iro because he said something like you know like you expect me to listen to you and like you know betray iro like, he was very mad at that moment so that's one thing i did not expect i thought at that moment he would probably be like oh yeah you're right you know like when ozai was telling like you know talking with him and saying that uh, this happened so i think like you know he should lose his right and i should become the fire king i thought that at that moment the fire lord would probably be like yeah you're right okay so you'll become the fire lord next in succession i thought this is how this is going to go i really did not expect him to actually stand up for iroh 
but the thing that he said after that was pretty messed up like if if that's really what he said you know that like according to azula at least that uh, oh so you should uh, learn what it is to lose uh, your son that's why we will kill um uh, zuko so yeah that was that was if if that really happened if he really said something like that that's despicable and uh, who knows i'm still not uh, like you know trusting azula maybe she just made that up that could be it as well so yeah okay now so few things that we can understand from here number one azula has always been this kind of uh, uh what can i say <laughs> like uh, like I'm still not actually able to put my finger on her personality like she is weird in a way because she's like she, she feels as if she's evil but at the same time it actually doesn't feel that she's evil at some times like I'm still not able, able to point pinpoint what she is like you know what what where in the moral scale she actually is now obviously the way she behaved in as a child was extremely cruel in a way and I can expect like you know like you know that happening because of her upbringing because you know as as we, as we can like, as everyone knows the children grow up according to their surroundings how like you know what type of surroundings they have what type of like, you know what what like you know that's why uh, like you know they say, say like whatever parents teach you when you're young uh, that's how you grow up your personality kind of becomes like you know structured like that so a good a person who is taught good things good manners good discipline turns out like you know when they grow grow up turns out to be a good person and vice versa so here obviously we can see that the people asula associated with were actually i'm guessing she associated more with her father that's why she's like this and zuko associated more with her mother and iro you know that's why he is like this he's honorable he is like you know like he's good in from the inside whereas azula is just like you know like uh, what can i say selfish uh, cruel and uh, you know like like that as we are seeing her so like that's obviously not like, can we can't fault her for that because that's the fault of her upbringing so like yeah like i really can't say anything about her uh, because of that and one thing i kind of like you know noticed here is according like you know f for her, like you know even um, among the her friends she's very like nasty in a way cruel like like the girl who i think had had, had a little crush on um zuko i forgot her name uh like, you know the 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 girl i think was her name may or something like that i think so it was something like that i can't remember you know that girl you know like the thing that she she did like saying that yeah like put an apple on the top of her head and like, like burning the apple and like you know kind of pushing them into the water like <laughs> boy like that's not how children play with each other like she, she, she doesn't care like you know like so putting the apple on fire but as i said like you know that's basically because of her upbringing and uh, he was brought up like this and i cannot fully blame her for that but yeah that's just her <laughs> And okay, that's one thing that I noticed. Another thing that I noticed here is I think I noticed this before as well. The Fire Lord Ozai really, I think, doesn't like Zuko. Now, I, I could have understood if he actually was disappointed in him, you know, because, uh, like, you know, he he's not as good as Azula. I, I thought I expected everything to go in that direction. Like, you know, after Azula uh, showed her skills, like, you know, uh, the fire lord was happy ozai was kind of happy and smiling and then i thought when zuko will come up and he'll try and he'll fail i thought after that like you know ozai will be kind of disappointed or angry but what actually happened here is not that it was kind of a little bit different as soon as zuko said that i'm going to show myself like you know my demonstration he didn't even start his demonstration and his father was like you know her father started frowning his father started frowning like that really struck me odd because like it's not that he was disappointed after seeing Zuko's performance. He didn't even start performing and from that moment he was not happy with it. Like that basically says that he 
I don't know, maybe something in the past, you know, he really doesn't like Zuko. And it's kind of, like, has always struck me a little bit weird, because I think in one of the previous flashbacks as well, uh, like, you know, during the fight, like, it's, like, and always the way he's treating Zuko really seems as if he really doesn't like him. And it's, and I'm kind of, like, you know, kind of saying this a lot of times and kind of stressing on this fact, because it's really weird to actually see a father not like his child. Like, really not like his child. Like, it, it's very rare and very, what can I say, not normal. Like, disappointment, yeah, that's one thing. You know, like, obviously, like, a, a few people actually, like, you know, um, uh, does not like, like, you know, as I said, like, you know, because he's a fire lord, if he was actually disappointed looking at Zuko, and after that became, started frowning, I would have been like, okay, like, you know, like, it's because he actually had high expectations for him, and he was unable to perform Zuko, so that's why he was angry and disappointed. But he started frowning even before that, so I'm guessing there is some other reason for this, I'm not so sure about it, you know? Like, it's really weird. Uh, like, the way she, like, you know, smiled as soon as Azula said that I'm going to show my skills, and as soon as Zuko said, like, it's like a complete uh, 180. And I don't know if I'm, like, looking too much into this or there's some other reason, but who knows. Yeah. Like, that's another thing that I got to know here. And I kind of noticed. And obviously, we get to know more about Iroh as well. And so Iroh, it was not even Iroh's own, what can I say, like, you know, shortcomings because of, of the reason of him actually coming back from the siege. It was not even his own shortcomings. It was actually uh, the death of his son which broke him. And that's why he decided to back down. So it's very sad in a way. And I'm guessing that's why he always, like, you know, he kind of looks at Zuko as his own son. Like, this really, like, you know, like, it made me realize that. You know, like, um, I think he himself also said that I look at you as my own son. So, like, so he actually lost his son and that's why, boy. <sighs> okay, that. Um, okay, that was the whole thing with Zuko and obviously another thing was happening on, in parallel to this, the whole thing with the, uh, Earth, like, you know, the village where Zuko came and uh, you know they were he was kind of you know stayed there for one day I'm guessing had some food and had made a little friend as well but unfortunately like you know I like you know after they everyone got to know that he's the fire nation prince and like, you know people started like I obviously like I, I expected that I expected that to happen because the people here are basically you know most of the problems in their lives are basically because of the fire nation so even if zuko is a good person and like, you know he comes and he became friends with the little kid you know obviously as soon as he's going to know that zuko is one of the fire nation people like yeah he won't like that and he said that i hate you because as i said like you know most of the problems that people are facing here because of the fire nation and obviously i don't expect them to be like, oh, you, like, you know, you are different from the Fire Nation people. Uh, so, yeah, you're our friend. No, that's definitely not going to happen. Kind of a shame, but yeah, what else can you do? And, uh, yeah. and obviously we can see that, uh, like, you know, Zuno, Zuko's honor is still here. Like, as soon as he, he saw the pregnant lady, at the beginning he thought that he's going to rob them. And then when she saw the pregnant lady, he was... You know, he did not do it and like, as I said like, you know this, like, your surroundings from your childhood make you who you are and this is one of the biggest examples that we can see in front of us that as Zuko grew up mainly because of her, the influence of her mom uh, of his mom and Iroh you know he is a person like this with honor and like you know a good person Whereas Azula, as I said, I, I still cannot actually pinpoint what type of a character she is. But uh, up until now, the way I'm seeing this, um, he's not, I can say, like, he, you know, it, it's, 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 he, she's weird in a way. Like, you know, the, the way she acts and behaves. And I can say that she's childish in a way. You know, that's basically, I think that's Azula. You know? 
it, you know, it's kind of childish. And, you know, that's why obviously she, he, she kind of acts cruelly even towards her friends and everyone. And, uh, you know, always like, you know, gives, gets what she wants. Like, as we saw, like, you know, she basically stole the dagger in the beginning. And, like, you know, in one of the previous episodes as well, we can see how he actually manipulated the, his, her friend to join her. Remember the circus uh, episode? Uh, that moment, I thought maybe it was actually her who, like, you know, I, I kind of made a counter argument in that episode. I said something like, oh, maybe he act she actually understood that her friend is not happy here. That's why she made that trick to actually, you know, help her take a decision and come to her. Like, I made a counter argument for that. But now I'm thinking like, nah, like, he, she basically wanted her in her team. That's why she did that. Like, no deep meanings behind that. I'm kind of thinking it now by actually seeing <laughs> her childhood. So, <laughs> who knows? So, yeah, like, uh, so as I was saying, like, you know, we can see the examples in front of us. Zuko, honorable, good. And Azula, chaotic, you know, crazy. <laughs> and selfish, cruel in a way. And uh, get, tries, to, like, you know, to get what she wants, however possible. And uh, because of, obviously, Ozai's influence. Yeah. And who knows what happened to the mom? I'm sure we're going to get uh, get to know in the future. Hopefully she's alive. She just ran away or something like that. But I don't know. And uh, yeah, that happened. The, like, it's unfortunate that he uh, Zuko kind of made a friend here. But yeah, as soon as they got to know that he's from the Fire Nation, nothing else can be done. And uh, the whole thing with the fire uh, lord, before that is a grandfather, you know, as soon as like, you know, that happened, he died. Very like, you know, conveniently in, in that time. So who knows, maybe Ozai did something, or maybe he did not. Maybe he really did die naturally. We still don't know. Probably in the future we'll get more clues to that. So yeah, so yeah, that was uh, episode number uh, seven. So okay let's start the next episode this is episode number eight of after the fire uh <laughs> i was saying after the firebender what the hell <laughs> after the last airbender episode number eight let's get started so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is a preference and let's get started okay so here's a countdown three two one Hmm. Oh. Okay, time to take this off. Oh. Okay, the chairs. Oh, all right. All right, we're back to Ang and his crew. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Good. <laughs> Oh no, boy! It's like snow. <laughs> yes, we need, we don't need any more disguises. Oh no, let's see if Toph is also. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Wow. That was... Oh no, she's not doing anything. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we need your help. Yes. And... Whoa! Well, teamwork. Yeah, she's never been with friends, you know. Like I don't blame her. It's new for her. <laughs> it's new for her. Everything. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, boy. Well, we need to get a communication a bit smoother. Wait, is someone coming? Avalanche? <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa, there it is. What is that? The hell? Uh, yeah. Hmm. You can take a nap on Appa, or maybe not. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sakal's like great. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. You need to sleep, Katara. You need to sleep. Oh boy. Uh yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god, not again. Nah. Yeah, let's go. Ah, no sleep tonight. Okay. <laughs> Sakal's sleeping here. That's what I said, I'm gonna take a nap on Appa. But Appa's not getting her his sleep, so... Yeah. Boy, Appa's tired. Yeah, let's go to sleep. <laughs> okay, Katara. Oh my god. Nah, that's not Zuko. <laughs> oh my god what's what's up with him 
Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, let's go and confront it because I don't. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> that doesn't look friendly, you know. Whoa, what the? Oh no, they're not, definitely not friendly. <laughs> Run, guys. Wait, how did it track him? Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My god. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Boy, that's a strong lightning. Ah, oh, Appa. Poor Appa. Oh no, Appa, don't sleep. Mm hmm, yeah. 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 Oh my god. Yeah, like Appa also needs his his sleep, so these these people are not sleeping? What the hell is wrong with them? Like Azula and Oh is Zuka following them? <laughs> yeah, Appa is asleep. Yeah, Appa. Oh my God. Oh no. Appa. Yeah, a little bit. Yes, there you go. Okay. Ugh. Ah, yeah, so is everyone. <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Whoa! No, definitely not. Oh. Wait, really? Okay, and... Okay. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, they really are kind of following it, I think. Yeah, and s sleepy they are. <laughs> uh. 
Uh. <laughs> oh, maybe make uh yeah, make a Oh, yeah, nice. Give give him a bait, you know? There you go. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I can't see his eyes. Yeah. Boy, Alpha is still asleep. Ah. Yeah, she can sense it. Who is there? What the? Oh, Iro! <laughs> okay, this is good. Oh no, did they figure out? God. Yeah, they figured it out. I think. Mm. Oh no. Yep. Ah. God. Wait, what? Oh, is this like an abandoned village or something? There you go. Let's go back. Quick, hang. They're following you. Wait, what? Is he going to confront her directly? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, God. Ah! Oh no! Oh! Okay! Okay! A little bit more further? Okay, okay... What the hell?! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, again. Okay. Oh no, again the pressure point. <laughs> His head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not good. There is, they need sleep. What the hell? Whoa. Yeah, nice. Nice work, Appa. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. And there she is.
Wait, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. No, it's not a good impression. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this Iro? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, because... Uh -huh. All right. That's why she was saying, like, you know, I, I can take my weight. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah but he needs to drag him down first so you know oh oh Z Zuko's here okay <laughs> nice <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be good. Zeus. <laughs> what? No, you should fight Azula. But yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, and time to run away. Let's leave this to Zuko, you know, he can handle this. Okay. Oh! Yo. Okay. Boy, blue flame. Ooh! Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, this is, um, interesting. Oh, oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh! Zuko! My god. Wow. Damn. All right, Zuko, we need a little bit of help. Zuko, anytime. Oh, Katara is here. Nice. Okay. There you go. Appa's here, hopefully, as well. Oh, Iroh! Oh, that Toph's also here, that means. I think so. Oh, 
Okay, there you go. There you go. All right, <laughs> this is a big disadvantage for Azula. It's a lot of people now. <laughs> that was fantastic, Iro. <laughs> yeah, what else do you expect? I don't, I don't trust you. She's planning something. She's, she's surely planning something. Where are her friends? Okay. Oh, whoa! Oh, no. Is Iro okay? Ah, he's go she's gone. Hopefully. hopefully. Uh, is, is he okay? Oh, yeah, she, she knows healing. Oh, come on! <sighs> Mm, boy. boy, that was an episode. God. Okay, whoa. <laughs> ah, so many things happened. Alright, uh, okay, so this episode. Um <clears throat> so first of all, um Toph, obviously she is not accustomed to this, you know, traveling with people, traveling with, uh, you know, people who are close to her age, you know, friends. And uh, like, as like, you know, she like, at the, at the beginning, I was really unable to pinpoint why she was always saying like, oh, I can carry my own weight. But after I talked with her, I could understand that why she was doing that. She herself explained it. She said something like whenever people, like, you know, look at me. They, they seem, they, they feel like they need to take care of me. But I don't want that. I'm, that's why, I, like, you know, I'm, I'm a person who can carry my own weight. And that's why she's always, like, you know, she's kind of pressing on that portion where she was like, yeah, I can carry my own weight. Now, obviously, like, you know, like, if you try, like, you know, if you are traveling with your friends or, like, you know, some other people, obviously you need to cooperate. And she is, you know, she's not that old. She never came out of the house and always, she always has been inside the house. And whatever, like, you know, like, as she said, like, you know, everybody's like taking care of me. She didn't like that. So all summed up, her, you know, behavior was pretty, what can I say, appropriate for, you know, like, the way she was brought up. And... It's going to take some time and as like you know like katara said that like obviously like here because they they were lacking sleep it also made them a little bit more crankier you know like if they were like you know well rested i doubt it would have escalated to this point you know like and probably katara wouldn't be like you know wouldn't like lash out so much and probably Toph would also be a little bit more cooperating but yeah sleep <laughs> sleep is important because it really uh, messes with you if you don't get it enough and that's what happened here they did none of them had proper sleep and like you know they were pretty cranky and it kind of got you know went into a situation which none of them wanted mm. and uh, yeah at the beginning <laughs> Ang was all like okay you two calm down and then as soon as <laughs> Toph was like oh this is all Appa's fault <laughs> And got mad, like obviously, like you know, like and Appa has been with them for from the beginning, and like, he has been such a big help. So, kind of blaming him for it was wrong in a way. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And uh, now, hopefully, after this, I'm guessing <laughs> she'll be a little bit more cooperative, and it'll take a little bit of time for her to actually get used to Ang and you know Saka and Katara. And uh, yeah, hopefully, little by little, they like you know she's going to actually learn how to like you know help others, cooperate with her friends, and all the other stuff. So that's not a, that's that's like you know a matter of time. That's definitely not going to happen in the future. The thing that happened in this episode, I hopefully you know, <laughs> and um, yeah. 
that was that and there's this another section where obviously uh the ladies um the fire nation ladies the three of them <clears throat> they're chasing them and uh, okay so obviously they came here from by following up a trail and like i don't understand <laughs> they were also following like you know ang and all of them for from the beginning so i'm guessing they took turns at sleeping i think that one must be it you know uh, i i'm i'm like why are they they not tired like they must have done that you know like because it was like a vehicle that they were using and i'm guessing someone drove it and like you know for a, six or seven hours and then they kind of switched and the others went to sleep and there's like you know the, the other one the other person started driving and i'm guessing that's how they coordinated this whole thing and that's why no, none of them were tired actually but that cannot happen here uh, in ang's case because ang has to control appa and appa has to you know uh, fly so uh, i'm guessing the most uh what can i say stress that accumulated were on uh ang and appa they were the most tired and uh tof saka and katara they were also probably not able to sleep that well because first of all they're flying they need to like you know <laughs> they need to kind of hold on to uh, appa otherwise they might go like you know they, they might fall so that's one thing like it's, it's not really a good way like you know proper way to sleep on a flying bison like that's one reason another reason is obviously these people have all like have been you know following them from the beginning so it's like they also have to keep an eye out and <clears throat> as soon as they take a little bit of a break they also have to keep you know uh, an eye out if they are coming or not like they are being chased so the stress for, on them were more and that really messed the whole thing up and appa uh, himself was very tired and uh, yeah like it was a very bad situation and it, it just I, I have to say like give props to azula because uh, this was a really good way for actually tying them down and ca like you know trying to capture them like it's like an intelligent way they did this like they they like, you know basically they tried to attack them in a very um you know what can i say unique way you know not direct confrontation but decided to tire them off you know tire them down and then fight so yeah that's one thing and <laughs> hopefully the shedding is gone now appa won't shed anymore and yeah they won't be able to follow him <clears throat> yeah that and uh, like the, then the whole thing with like you know toff happens the whole you know little quarrel and Katara also kind of lashed out, which obviously she understood later on, and she was kind of regretful because, you know, like they're, they're, she's new to this, and uh, yeah, like both of them needs to cooperate. <coughs> and uh, okay, and like it was intelligent for Azula as well that they actually, you know, figured out what Ang was trying to do, like you know, throw them off, and. Yeah, she's she's definitely more intelligent than obviously than Zhao, more than Zhao. So yeah, that's that's a bigger problem. And there are three of them, you know? And three of them are very skilled. Both like all three of them. So yeah, so we don't have the numbers advantage here anymore. You know, all this time we had the numbers advantage, but nah, not anymore. In a way. Uh, nah, we never did have any numbers advantage because previously Zuko was also on our tail. So yes, in a way, it's kind of the same. Like you know, previously Zuko, Iroh, even though Iroh never really did participate in capturing a Aang, but Zuko was there, Zhao was there. So yeah, I'm guessing it's kind of the same still. Okay, and then like one of the best things happens, <laughs> like uh, the, one of the best people you actually like you know. <laughs> could meet in this situation Toff met Iroh and they had a little conversation Iroh helped her actually realize what the problem was you know and like very straightforwardly he said that you know like even though you can take care of yourself you should still ask help from others rely on them so yeah and uh, like 
okay that happened and then like you know they go to the abandoned village a great fighting sequence happens <laughs> that was great and uh, <clears throat> now they almost got Azula in this episode but yeah she and her crafty <laughs> you know techniques she like you know kind of made them lower their guard by telling that i'm surrendering and then countered and got iro and then she like took advantage of that confusion to run away <clears throat> now <clears throat> like zuko you know like i th i think katara could have helped at that moment but obviously zuko is not uh you know accustomed to this and uh, yeah and she he kind of lashed out so hopefully Iro is okay like he's getting a lot of injuries for the couple of few episodes like there was this one episode where I think he got like uh, you know, yeah he got kind of sick you know kind of ate something or like I remember <laughs> he got sick and then there's another episode where Z Zuko was bringing him food you know and now again he gets injured boy hopefully he's okay because Seems as if he's injured basically, it's not life threatening. I think so. But yeah, I hope he's fine. And you know, Zuko. Uh, I don't know. Like it ended in a really weird way because uh like you know, like thankfully Zuko was able again able to meet Iroh and Aero would probably be able to, you know, talk with him and you know make become uh, you know, clear the misunderstandings and stuff, and he could, as he said, like you know, yeah, I, like I, I'll, as Stoff said, that you could, you should go tell it to him directly, and I'm guessing I would probably be able to tell you go directly that don't go, like you know, uh, you know, come along side with me, you know, like let's go together, something like that, and uh, yeah, hopefully he's fine, and I don't think this is enough to take Iro down. But I don't know. Who knows? <sighs> uh, we'll have to wait for the next episode to see what happened to Iro. I, I'm I'm sure he's fine. If he, even if he's not fine, I'm sure he will be fine. Uh, let's just wait for it. You know. And uh, yeah, that was it. I think. Is there anything else? no all right so yeah guys that was it so okay so here is another thing like we actually see uh this is the first time i think that they really does like work together zuko uh you know and ang's crew so hopefully in the future he actually comes and joins ang because I, I don't see any, this going any other way, you know? I, I really don't see this going any other way. I'm, I'm sure Zuko will join them. Probably it will take a little bit of more time. Maybe almost in the end of this season. But I'm sure he'll join. Hopefully. You know, otherwise, you know, like what, what would he even do in this situation? His dad is trying to kill him and yeah. Boy. So yeah, let's wait for it. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. So this was my reaction to after the last Airbender episode number um, seven, yeah, seven and eight. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below. Anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of after the last Airbender. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.